Hey, it's Matt Bakken, Certified Personal Trainer for the UND Wellness Center, coming to you today with a at-home lower body workout, no equipment needed. So getting right into it, the first exercise for the warm-up is going to be a, a forward, side, reverse, curtsy lunge. So it's just kind of like a lunge matrix, so you're going to stand in place, stepping forward with your right leg, then stepping back, then stepping to the side, and stepping back, and you're going to step back with your right leg, and step forward, and then back to the side, step back. And you're going to do that with the opposite side also. Um, second exercise then is a deep squat thoracic rotation. So you're going to stand with a wide stance, then you're just going to squat down low. Then you're going to take your uh, elbows, open up your knees, and then you're going to rotate out to the right, and rotate out to the left. Third exercise of the warm up then is just a single leg RDL. So you're going to be starting on your right leg, knees slightly bent, and then you're going to bring your hips back, feeling a good stretch in your hamstrings, and then you're going to come back up, keeping that back flat. Uh, that'd be it for the warm up. The warm up set will be about one to three sets. Second block then uh, will be starting with a broad jump. So the broad jump, you're going to be jumping as far as you can or just however far is comfortable with you. So the broad jump, you're just going to be coming down into like a partial squat and then you're just going to be jumping forward and landing softly. Second exercise of the first block is your single leg airplanes. So you're going to be starting on your right leg and you're going to be coming down into kind of like the single leg RDL. But this time, when you get down in that down position, you're going to rotate out to the left and have your chest facing towards the left. Then you're going to come down. So you're going to rotate to the left and down. And you can do that with the opposite side also. That's the end of the second block. Um, third block then will be uh, uh, starting with a glute bridge hold. So getting down on the ground, heels towards your butt. Then you're gonna squeeze the glutes and then hold it here for uh, your desired amount of time. And then once you're done, you're gonna bring it back down. Then you're gonna go right into a single leg glute bridge. So this time you just bring one leg up towards your chest by bringing that knee to your chest. Then you're just gonna squeeze that right glute, bring those hips up, and then, and then relax. And then up, down. Then you're gonna switch and do that with your opposite leg. Uh, third block will be um, uh, eccentric reverse Nordics. So this will be starting on your knees. This one is a little bit uh, more of a challenging exercise. So if you need to, be, uh, be very careful and uh, modify as comfortable. So with this one, you're gonna be squeezing your glutes, and then you're gonna come down, and then once you can't hold it any longer, and then you're just gonna release and come back up. If that's uh, too hard for your knees, and then just go here just a little bit, and then back. Or, or if you want another modification, then you could just go here and just hold it here for like 20, 30 seconds and then bring it back. Second exercise then would be your um, uh, quadruped fire hydrants. So you're gonna have your hands right underneath your shoulders, knees right underneath your hips. Then you're gonna bring your right knee out to the side. Focusing on keeping your chest uh, parallel with the ground the whole time. You don't want to be having your chest uh, rotate. So really keep that core activated. And imagine that you have a glass of water in your back and you're not trying to spill it. And just really squeezing the side of your glute to bring that knee up to the side. Last block then of the workout is uh, you'll be doing four to eight sets of a starting with a plank side to side hop. So you'll be in the plank position here and you'll be, um, you'll be hopping to the right 
and hopping back, and then hopping to the left, hopping back. From the side, that'll look like this. Again, in that same plank position, hopping to the right, back, left, back. Then you'll go right into a uh, uh, drop squat to floor touch. So you'll be starting in the standing position, then you'll just drop down, touch the floor, drop down, touch the floor. And uh, that'll be it for the workout once you're done. Hopefully you had a good workout. Any questions, leave a comment below. And thanks for watching.